my name is Aurora Crooks with New York City Audubon and today I am going to be talking to you guys about birds and plumage. So physical appearance is one of the main ways that we identify different types of birds and the characteristics of those types of birds. And the easiest way to do that is by identifying their plumage or their feathers. So you may be wondering what actually is plumage. And the definition of plumage is basically referring to the bird's feathers, including the color and the pattern that those feathers produce depending on the species of bird. Birds have different plumages depending on their age, their life cycle, which indicates their health, their status, and generally what stage of life they're in. Today, I'm going to be going through a variety of the different types of plumages that birds might produce and what that means about the bird in question. Natal plumage is something that develops on baby birds just a few days or weeks after their birth, and in the cases of species like ducks, they're actually bored with this natal plumage. And so what natal plumage actually is, it's a really, really soft, downy type of feather that's going to keep the bird really warm and insulated for those cold winter nights. And also one important thing to note about natal plumage is that it's neutrally colored. So it's camouflaged based on the environment. And that's really important to have when you're a tiny little baby bird because it helps keep you protected from a variety of different predators or other dangers because you're more hidden. The second type of plumage that develops in young birds is something called juvenile plumage. Juvenile plumage is developed in a bird after the first few months of their life and you're usually going to see juvenile plumage around the points of their fourth and fifth months of life very often times in the summer and the fall after they've hatched and are a little bit older. An important thing to know about juvenile plumage is that it's not quite as soft as a natal plumage, but it's still very easily camouflaged to protect these young birds from predators until they're a little bit older and can ward these predators off with better efficiency. One important thing to know about juvenile plumage is that most of the time these birds, while not full adults, will start to develop the markings that they will have as adults when they are fully grown. And in the case of dimorphic species, which dimorphic means a male and a female, a dimorphic species will often have them developing the markings very early. And then, for example, the female cardinal, this is a full grown female cardinal, but a juvenile female cardinal will have similar colors and marking, and this will be important for their development in next stages in the future. One type of plumage that you may or may not see in a bird is something called subadult plumage. Now it's important to note that not all bird species show subadult plumage, only certain species of birds. The subadult plumage stage is something almost like a teenager stage in a human, where they're going to have a lot of the markings and traits that they will have as an adult, but they won't quite be as pronounced. Subadult plumage is especially common in birds such as gulls and other types of birds like raptors or hawks, and it, where they take several years to develop into a fully fledged adult in order to be more properly trained by an adult bird. Um, so they gradually grow to resemble the adult plumage more closely as it each year passes. So that's important to know with subadult plumage. Once a bird's a fully fledged adult, one thing that's popular and common that you're going to see in most species of birds is something called basic plumage. This means that the plumage is seen in all adults and usually not during the breeding or mating seasons. So the plumage that you see an average bird have as an adult is something called the basic plumage. There's different types of plumages depending on if they're courtship or breeding or looking to have babies, but in the basic plumage the big distinction is that if nobody is breeding or courting or having any babies, they're going to have this basic coloring and the basic feathers of a normal day. And so in the cases of the cardinal, here would be a male cardinal's basic plumage. It's very notable red color with the feathers. And in the female cardinal, you will see that the female cardinal will have a softer, more camouflaged color. And this is actually the, their basic plumages. And so in this case, because they're a dimorphic species, the male has, is more brightly colored to attract attention of female cardinals. But this is not all species. And it's important to remember that this is their basic plumage. So like I said, basic plumage means the plumage that they have when they aren't doing anything particularly special or important, it's just their normal plumage or feathers that they have as an adult.
one of the most notable kinds of plumages that you will see in different species of birds is something called the breeding plumage. Breeding plumage happens when birds are in their courtship or mating phase and they are trying to attract the attention of a mate. It's during the courtship phase that you're going to see plumage develop in competing males or competing females where you'll see some of the brightest and most exciting and fascinating types of plumages because they're all competing for attention for different mates. Here I'm holding the notable peacock feathers and it's important to know that only male peacocks have the peacock feathers and their size and the difference in the plumages for male peacocks is what they use to attract different mates and to show their mates their different types of feathers to impress a different kind of mate. But peacocks are not the only species who practice breeding plumage. Most dimorphic species of bird do practice some kind of breeding plumage season, and some birds will have this for the entirety of the spring and the summer, rather than just a few weeks in the spring or another season in order to specifically attract a mate. They will keep this breeding plumage coat throughout the entire spring and summer months. Some other words to describe a breeding plumage would be something like a nuptial plumage, or even things like a spring plumage or a spring breeding plumage. So this concludes our episode about birds, feathers, and plumages. I hope you guys enjoyed my little video and I hope to hear you guys, see you guys for the next episode. I'm Aurora Crooks with New York City Audubon.